This is just a quick demonstration of some handy extrude based tools in bonus tools. So for starters, let's uh, take a look at the object we have here. I have a dumpster and I want to start to model out some detail for this using these existing textures. So if I were to go in and actually just apply a standard extrude to this, what you're going to see is as soon as I either scale the manipulator and or use the offset value to pull that in, then I'm going to get these distorted UVs or distorted textures rather, because the UVs are actually coincident. So it's actually leaving the UVs in the same place. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a tool that's part of bonus tools under modeling. And I've got two actually that kind of are similar, but I'll show you the difference. One is called extrude and scale. And this is the old version of this tool. It'll actually extrude and it'll automatically scale the UVs, which you can see here in the texture view. Now when I go in to manipulate my um, extrude, you can see there that it no longer stretches the UV in the same way. It gives me kind of a starting point for doing some corrections. So now I can go in and I can actually grab the UVs and then I can begin to scale the UVs accordingly to kind of compensate for the scale in 3D. But this is a very kind of tedious back and forth process. So what I really want to do is have this all happen automatically. So that's where the new tool comes in. So I've got a simple tool called Extrude and Preserve UVs. So when I apply that, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically extrude, or rather automatically preserve the UVs while I'm extruding. So now interactively, it'll automatically recalibrate. You'll see when I release, it's recreated the UVs here. If I make that smaller, then I have a smaller UV representation over here. Additionally, I can go in and I can begin to move this kind of along the plane of the face here, and it's automatically going to reposition my UVs for me in that way as well. So I can come in here and I can kind of place my, my new face directly on an area of the, of the model. And again, the UVs will automatically align. So we can continue to apply this. So every time I want to preserve UVs, I have to use this tool. So I say extrude and preserve. It only allows one in your construction history at a time. So just as a warning, you always have to bake up to the most recent preserve UVs. Um, because it can't have more than one preserve because they'll basically interfere with one another. So just say yes and it'll automatically create that new one. And then I can come in here and begin to kind of add a little bit of detail to this. So let's just do a couple more extrude and preserves here. This time I'll kind of, whoops, kind of pull this down, something like that. Maybe scale that in a little bit. Once again, we'll do another extrude and preserve. Just gives you the nice little warning there. And now I'll just kind of taper that in. And so now fairly quickly, I was able to basically go in and model out a little bit of detail without losing any of the, the texturing that was already done. So that's a real simple example, but you get the basic idea. This can be used in a lot of different ways and kind of a, a prevents uh, the need to have to go in and correct those UVs after the fact.